today's news. Today's news. CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Vicki Barker in London. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky blaming Russia for shelling a major dam in southern Ukraine. Zelensky has placed the blame squarely on Russia's shoulders, while the Kremlin has accused Kiev of blowing it up. The dam is in Russian-occupied territory and is important for the safe running of the Kremlin-controlled Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which Moscow-backed authorities say is stable for now. CBS's Deborah Pata in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Instead of building a $90 million police and firefighter training center, this Atlanta resident, among those telling the city council to... Make the investments that are necessary to create true public safety. Invest in affordable housing. Invest in affordable health care. At the end of the all-night session, the city council approved the center, which will be built in an urban forest in a largely black area. Another Republican hat thrown into the ring, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie launching his presidential bid at a rally in Manchester, New Hampshire today. These locals already weighing in. Chris Christie's getting in this just to attack Trump. I don't think he has any real goals at trying to become president. I think Christie's great, too. I think the more the competition, the better we can see who Donald Trump really is and who these guys are. Former Vice President Mike Pence formally launches his campaign tomorrow. One of America's worst traitors has died. Robert Hampson was found dead in his prison cell. CBS's Cammy McCormick tells us the former FBI agent sold secrets, big secrets, to Moscow. His disclosures included U.S. nuclear war preparations, a secret eavesdropping tunnel under the Soviet embassy in Washington, and he betrayed double agents, one of whom was executed. Hampson was 79. From traitors to heroes, 79 years ago today, Allied forces landed on the beaches of Normandy, turning the tide of of World War II. CBS's Elaine Cobb reports from Paris. Just one of the almost 200 French fighters who joined the Normandy landings in 1944 is still alive. Leon Gauthier is 100 years old and is back on the beaches today for commemoration ceremonies led by French President Emmanuel Macron. Gauthier told reporters he will never forget that June 6th, nor the friend who was killed just feet away from him. And he warns that peace is fragile and must not be lost again. Elaine Cobb. CBS News, Paris. 2,500 Americans were among the soldiers who died on D-Day. And Prince Harry has been giving blistering testimony at a phone hacking trial in London, accusing the Mirror Group newspapers of intrusions that blighted his childhood, adolescence, and adult life. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. Morning, Travis. Yeah.